Uh, the confocal microscope is really cool because you can look through something very thick. Um, in this case, I'm interested in looking through thick biofilms. The microscope allows you to individually focus on different planes as the stage moves, whereas a regular microscope, you would see what's in focus as well as what's out of focus above and below that, and it makes the picture look kind of fuzzy. Um, in this case, the microscope allows you to single out the focal plane, and you can really um, get nice images. And then we use a computer to reconstruct what it would look like three-dimensionally from that stack of pictures that we took. I work with some organisms that are of interest in sediment where uh, bioremediation uh, is a possibility, um, sites that are contaminated with uranium and chromium waste. Bioremediation is where we use microorganisms or bacteria um, to clean up nasty things that are in the soil. Biofilms are everywhere, and that's probably how most bacteria are in nature. Um, from things that we are trying to get out of our drinking water, bacteria that we're trying to get out of our drinking water, to um, the way that organisms actually exist in a, um, a natural system like the one I'm studying uh, where bioremediation occurs. Most of the bacteria are probably not just floating around in the water, otherwise they get washed away. They're probably attached to surfaces. And so it's important to understand um, how that changes things. If we're trying to disinfect something, how that changes the ability to kill them. Um, and we found that it, it significantly changes that, and so it's important to understand what the differences are. There are people all over campus, um, you know, from microbiology to land resources um, to earth science, people that can use uh, these new confocals for their experiments. How good they are, how advanced they are, especially compared to our old scope, um, just it makes it worth it, and there'll be a lot of different experiments that people can do.